good evening my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is the last speaking first of all of course i wish everyone happy weekend and it was really a good week and we had a lot of profits especially from gold uh the forecast for gold was accurate and i'm happy for the results it was good also for the usdgpy uh, for the pound usd uh, it was going well uh, until that moment when uh, Mr. Boris Johnson was elected as the new Prime Minister in the UK government and it really affected the pound very bad. That is of course not my fault, not anyone's fault. We cannot predict what will going to happen when a new um, uh, occasions occur or any news hit about the government and uh, especially Brexit uh, issue. So anyway, let's now jump and go to the main subject of the video and let's start analyzing the market from the current situation so i'm looking now at the euro usd and i see on the daily chart it's hitting a really strong support level we can see that the euro usd has been bouncing on this uh, support level for quite a long time uh, in total of uh, five attempts so far and it seems to be reversing at this point especially when we are seeing this new uh, rejection on the daily chart let's go to the weekly chart so we can analyze it even better and we can see also that in the past since three years this is this sorry two years this was a really strong support level and the euro usd is not able to break from this level meaning this is uh, interesting and we need to check out what kind of price action the market will open on monday but in general, I believe the Euro USD will bounce to go more up, uh, at least, at least to reach this uh, resistance level, at least, because you know my 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 type of uh, analysis is not telling you to go long term or uh, really long, like 300 pips or 400 pips. These are like a signals that I'm giving to you, and from my point of view, uh, I believe the Euro USD on daily chart is going to bounce all the way until at least reaching this level let me just be accurate this level here that should be a good uh, almost 70 pips of profit before that we need to wait to see the price action where th what kind of candle will open on monday morning then we can decide our buy but in general this level is really good to buy for the euro usd and we can keep our, our position for 70 pips at least before sorry because it's possible that the pair will reach this resistance right here and then it it is possible to make the final break out from the support level so we need to see the price action now i cannot predict anything because there is no candles so in general if you want to be safe i believe it will be good idea to start buying your USD and keep your position only until the level 1.12055. Let's go to the pound USD. So the pound USD, as I said, it should has it should have reached this uh, resistance level, and we can see here that the pound USD uh, on this uh, support is exactly on the same level where I mentioned that uh, it's good to buy. It really went up indeed and it gave about 30 32 pips of profit before it actually started going down after the new election of mr Bo uh, johnson so this is weekly chart let's uh, delete all these lines they are annoying let's check the weekly chart just to be clear so we can see that the pound usd is also on a strong support since february 2017 and i believe it should react to this level i think the pound usd should uh, react to it and it should go up at least uh, again i'm telling you to hit this resistance level right here just to be accurate exactly right here uh, should give about 127 pips of profit actually this is the best level to buy the pound usd but again we need to wait to see what kind of uh, candle will open on monday is it gonna be lower is it gonna be higher we need to wait but in general yes that is really the best point to buy the pound usd going to the four hour chart 
we can also see this price action. I like this price action. This is this is indicating a reversal in the levels. And let's just check something here. What I'm seeing, if the pound USD did not have any unexpected news, just like that, pound USD might actually bounce all the way up to this resistance right here. And then it might go below to this support before it start continue to go again more up but again we need to see the news if any major news will come to the pound i cannot guarantee anything we need to keep our eyes on the uh, uk government and the parliament any news about brexit anything maybe a tweet that mr johnson will make i don't know he's the english version of mr trump <laughs> everybody knows that so again technically from technical view Pound USD is good for buy, but we need to see what will gonna happen if there is any unexpected news gonna appear. So again, USD, GP, uh, GPP USD is good to buy, and it will be safe to keep your position for about 70 pips until this resistance on 1.24500. Uh, let's go now to the AUD USD. AUSD USD is also approaching a really strong support level after this uh, long-term bearish uh, momentum. Going to the daily chart, um, we can see that the AUD USD is facing here on this level. This strong support, we can see the bounce happened right here as well, and here and here as well. Uh, let's go to the weekly chart. It's really good idea to check the weekly chart to decide your entries, especially if you are planning for a long-term trades. So weekly chart is saying something else. It's showing that this is a really good for sell, and it's showing that the pair should continue to move more down. But however, that's not going to happen immediately, I think. Uh, there will be some bouncing, and AUD USD should, I think, bounce. And let me just be, try to be accurate as much as possible uh until this level right here so AUD USD should give us about 80 pips of profit so i'm expecting for the AUD USD it will bounce a little bit to hit this previous resistance and then it will continue to go more down because again i'm telling you on the weekly chart it seems really strongly bearish momentum and i don't think it's going up uh, at this point Again, we need to wait to see the candle on Monday, but in general, yeah, it's going down just like that. So, should be good to buy right now and start, but keep your position until 0 0.69853. Then it's it might be a good idea to start selling AUD USD from this level, but of course, I cannot predict anything from now because we need to see the price action, see any news, anything might happen to change this uh, theory. Let's check now the USD CAD. Uh, okay, USD CAD is a bit tricky right now. Uh, let's go to the weekly chart to see what's going what's to happen. So, weekly chart, let me tell you what we can see. We can see right here, right now where the candle is. If we look at the left, we can see that we had here a strong support. And right here, this is the nearest resistance to this uh, bearish breakout candle. So this is the nearest uh, resistance right here, and that is where the candle is right now. Okay, checkpoint. So go back to the daily chart. We can see the price action indicating a reversal, and we have here a small resistance. So the candle might actually go a little bit more up, and then it's gonna reverse. So let's just be more accurate and check on the bigger picture and i believe the the AUD USD, the usd cad in general U, uh, usd cad should be going up we have here this reversal from this resistance right here so the market is reversing but we cannot ignore this strong support and this and this as well and even here we can see the str the strength of the level and here as well, we can see a very strong support level. So basically, this level of the support can't be skipped, can't be ignored. 
I believe uh, USD CAD will make a small bouncing to touch this support level before it start to shoot more up all the way to this resistance on let's say 1.34120 so what do you do with the USD CAD if you are scalping only you can start selling it until it hit this uh, level for about 45 pips of profit but then you have to wait to see any price action on this level right here let me delete this one so right here it will be really good I believe to start buying the USD CAD with a potential reversal or, or sorry uh, to keep the momentum to go more down all the way to this level so again let me just make it clear USD CAD is expected to reverse all the way to 1.31213 with a potential continuation to go more down even to 1.30899 but that's for sure in my opinion uh, USD CAD will be shooting more up all the way until this resistance on 1.34120 that's my expectation for the USD CAD and I believe it's really obvious should be easy especially we're analyzing on the, on the daily and weekly chart and that is obvious we can see how this strength of the resistance right here so yeah that is really strong res uh, support zone and I don't think the pair can skip it or go below it easily now let me just get rid of all of that uh, give me one moment guys I will pause for a minute sorry my friends were back let's check now the USD GPY uh, we are on the weekly chart let me just get rid of all of that yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just annoying me to see that okay weekly chart for the USD GPY should be really easy because now right now we can see it on a very strong resistance level and the price action given on the last uh, weekly uh, daily candle opened or sorry closed it's not showing any uh, signs of continuation to continue go grow more up I believe it will go down but just to be clear of something uh, yes hold on give me one second to think about it okay what I was thinking let me explain to you what I was thinking in my mind but then I, cha I changed it because what I'm seeing right here uh, as we all know from what we have learned through the years of trading that when there is a bearish breakout or a bullish breakout as well for this matter when we say a breakout usually the retest of the level is gonna reach the point where we can see the nearest resistance or support to the bearish or the bullish breakout meaning when we have this breakout where is the nearest support or resistance to so this breakout it's right here so what I was thinking that the pair might continue to go more up hitting this level exactly before it start falling more down however uh, what we can see right now is we have right here a breakout candle remember I'm on the daily chart if we go to the four hour and one hour we can see it more clear uh, what we can see here that we had here a resistance as well and therefore I believe the pair is reversing exactly on this level of the resistance therefore I think USDGPY should be good to sell immediately and keep the position all the way until this support level right here just like this so USDGPY should be good for sell and keep the position until uh, almost 80 pips let's see it everyone on the four hour chart we can see clearly now that we had here a very strong resistance level and right here we have this bearish breakout candle and if we look at the left this is the nearest resistance therefore I believe this ranging market happened here uh, for the USD GPY that is definitely a sign for reversal so USD GPY is good to sell all the way as I said until this resistance uh, sorry until the support it could be to this one but I believe that if you want to be safe you can keep your position only until the support and hopefully USDGPY will be good and following uh, the analysis let's check now the USDCHF USDCHF is as well approaching this resistance and it has already approached as well on the 4 hour chart we can see it uh, US, uh, USDCHF I think it will go a little bit more up 
until it hit this level right here exactly yes so yeah i believe usdchf in general it's going down but it should reach this uh, top of the resistance first before it start reversing we can see right here we have the support uh, let me just uh, make it clear by drawing the lines like that yeah that's more delicacy okay so we had here a support as well guys and here we have the support and therefore usdg uh, usdchf it might bounce a little bit before it continue to go more up all the way to hit this previous resistance and then should be good to sell immediately and you can keep your position all the way let me think first until when uh, it should be fine until exactly right here so usdchf should, should be good for sell from this point at one, uh, 0 0.99596 keep your position for sell until it reached the level of 0 0.98803 that should be a sweet 75 pips of profit hopefully the usdchf will follow the analysis and yes even on daily chart we can see it happening uh yeah should be fine on the daily chart as well let's now check the gold shall we okay uh I'm actually a bit proud of my analysis for the gold last week. It was really accurate. Uh, what I told you, if you can check the video back of the last week, uh, I said gold should be good to sell immediately. And that is what happened for the whole week. This resistance has never been broken. And even when I told you that it might go up a little bit, it let me just zoom in to show you. I told you that if the gold will break out from this resistance or if it will go above this resistance it should not exceed the level of 1433 you can go and check that back the video exactly what happened the pair indeed went up a little bit but could not exceed the level of 1433 and you can see just barely touched it before falling more down that is because of my strategy you can see that the power of what i'm telling everyone uh, to use this is the bearish breakout candle and the nearest resistance or sorry the nearest support to this break, uh, breakout candle is exactly right here on the top of this week because this is the nearest level to this breakout candle so the pair could not break from this level uh, easily that especially that we are seeing it on a very strong resistance level therefore uh, is the gold has bounced exactly on this po uh, level right here so what's next let's check uh, the gold the gold seems to be really good to sell uh, let's check the daily chart I don't see any chance for the gold to go up at this point to be honest uh, but let me just be clear more uh, gold might actually it might actually go a little bit more up don't start buying don't do anything with the gold until it reaches this resistance on again i'm telling you one one thousand four hundred twenty four that should be good level to start selling the gold yes exactly why let me tell you why because on the left what we can see here there is a support level right here exactly exactly right like this we can see that we have here the support level and the pair was ranging on this level then finally we had the breakout from this level and again the retest seems to be working fine sorry about that the retest seems to be working very well and the pair seems to be going more up at this point but eventually it will go down so don't do anything with the gold until it reaches this resistance on 1424 and then hopefully it should be really good to start selling and keep your position all the way until this support level right here on 1415 that should be a lot of pips to be honest that is 100 pips of profit don't keep it uh, longer than that because uh, gold is very sensitive for the news we cannot predict it but in general gold is going down uh, if you want to be safe you just need to wait for it to reach this resistance if you don't want to be safe you can start selling immediately because as well we can see here that we have a strong resistance level and the gold is right on it but the problem this is not yet a good a good level to start selling because you are right now on a support zone 
you need to wait to see the price or the candles reaching above this resist uh, above this uh, support zone so you can start selling your the gold let me tell you if you really want to start selling gold you can use this level right here one the 1422 should be fine to start selling gold because we can see that it was really a strong resistance all the way even a strong support and here as well and here check the history guys always when you decide to buy or sell the pair just check the history how did the pair react to this level in the past what happened in the past was it really a strong or, or or a weak level what i can see from this level or from the history sorry it's really strong to uh, strong level and it's a good idea to start selling gold right on this level 1422 so that was my forecast for this upcoming week i really hope it will be helpful for everyone and i really hope it will be a profitable week to everyone to all of my friends and followers and please guys uh, let me know what your opinion about this forecast and uh, please enlighten us with what will happen with you if you have followed this uh, forecast and it give you a profit or even a loss uh, let us know please share your experience so yeah uh, i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching